Hey guys, this is Ryan Blair here at Halo Inc. and bringing you another video for designing window graphics. Uh, so first what you're going to do is go ahead and go to the farm and go to templates. And you're going to grab one of the window graphic templates. These essentially both work the same depending on what you're doing, whether you're doing uh, just a solid decal or a contour cut decal on top of the window or perf. Uh, they both work the same, but you're going to want to choose the one accordingly because that has the file name already built into it. Uh, so we're going to use the decal one for this tutorial. And we're at quarter scale. It tells you that in the name of the file as well as in the way that the file name is saved. Um, so you're going to notice that there is a red line on here, which is the bleed, and we're doing one inch on the right and one inch on the bottom. Uh, for whatever reason, your bleed turns off. All you need to do is just turn on your guide, which is control semicolon, and it will turn off and on. Uh, so first what you're going to do is just figure out your window size. So let's say this one is uh, 48 by 48, so we're going to do a shift O for our boards, and at quarter scale this would be 12 by 12 and we're just typing that in up top it's going to go ahead and keep the bleed so that's good um, and at this point you are ready to start designing so boom you've worked up your design now what you need to do is make sure that your bleed extends all the way down into those red lines like so and let me extend my tripod here. Uh, so now if you have multiple windows, all you need to do is do a shift O and hold down alt, click and shift and you could drag out another artboard. So this would basically be another window here. And if that was a different size, you could go ahead and enter the sizes in up here. And if you're working on a window graphic that spans across multiple windows, which we do uh, quite often, uh, and we have the size of the mullion, which is typically going to be about two inches. So all we're going to do is create a two inch wide spacer in between these. And you're going to line it up to the side of the right side of the arc board, not the bleed, because we want to keep the bleed where it is and we want to make sure that there is two inches in between these arc boards. So it looks something like that. And that way, once you have graphics spanning across uh, multiple windows, when it comes time to install, it's going to look correct. And if you had more windows, just go ahead and repeat that process. Get it to snap on that black bar there, and you're good. So let's say this is your completed design and you're ready to proof it out. What you're going to do is you're going to go over here and go to artboards, same as any of our other templates. Go ahead and fill out the order, the product, the size, and this is decal, if it was the perf, it would say perf here, scale one quarter. And the way tiles works is the far left window is going to be tile one, and then tile two, tile three, so you would just go ahead and rename those depending on how many different uh, windows you're doing. Then you plug in your description and put in your customer name. Once you are ready to proof, do a control alt E and that is going to export for screens. Make sure you have all your artboards selected here. We're going to want to make sure that we've got PDF selected. And if you're doing multiple windows like this, you could export it as a single file and that's just going to be all your artboards in one PDF. What you're also going to want to do is go ahead and do a JPEG proof at quarter scale. You should be good to just do this at full size um, like so uh, so at this point you can go ahead and choose the folder in which you're saving to so that's going to be under CB orders find your desired order folder and that's going to go in the work files hit select folder and you're good to export uh, if this job requires a photorealistic mock-up we have a video for that and I will put it in the description and it is also in our QR book on the same page on how to take the JPEG proofs and marry it with a picture of the building and how to put it into perspective. Thanks for watching.